Hey guys, what's going on? Pancakes here. I did change my name from Cat Gaming to Pan YouTube channel. But anyway, um, I'm here on Minecraft, but I'm playing RuneScape. Pretty cool. So I'm on the tutorial island right now. First things first, we gotta talk to Bob. Bob. Hey, and welcome to the Minescape. Before showing you my favorite skill, I would like to see some quest features with you. Let's start with some basic interaction. I'm. S s nope. Disappeared my chat. In certain quests, you will be asked to provide an answer. It can either be yes with left clicking or no right clicking. Alright. How's that sound to you? God damn it, Bob. Get back over here, you fuck. I have a friend in here. His name is, uh, what's your YouTube again? Dick Slesia? Yeah. Check him out. He's a pretty rad guy. He needs more subscribers. Yeah, it just broke like 400 views yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Check him out, though. He's pretty cool. He's also playing, uh, uh RuneScape, Mindscape. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'll be making a video of the area outside of Tsoya Island on uh, Friday. So, like, I'll, I'll tour the, everything from Lumbridge to Barak and whatever else is free to play. So, um, yeah. I'll be doing a whole Let's Play on this. So, I have multiple accounts, so I can still play and have fun on one, and then I can just mainly keep this account for uh, my Let's Play. So, that'll be pretty cool. Anyway. Let's continue what Bob is saying. He gave me a bronze axe. I gotta cut down a tree. He will tell me what to do after. So here's a tree. I got my wooden hatchet, which is now a bronze hatchet. And all you gotta do is click the tree and then wait. It will chop it for me until I get a piece of wood. And keep getting some more. And you notice they turn into planks. That means I can't mine that piece for a little bit. Pretty cool. And just like RuneScape. Things don't also stack in my inventory. Kind of lame, but eh. there are glitches I've heard from somebody with mining rune essence. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Bob. All right, let's continue with the fire making skill. Type slash H to check my XP. Okay, here's all my XP stuff. Alrighty. Here, take this item. I click the ground with it. And make a fire anywhere in his house. <laughs> There I go, house. I got it. What? In his house. Yeah, like Sorry, I'm watching I'm watching a TV series. Okay. Mhm. Mm Which one? House. <laughs> oh, house. <laughs> like the doctor. Yep, yep. Oh, man, that was too good. All right, Bob, right. can you quit going outside your house, please? Right, there you go. You can now talk to John. He's near the fishing spot. So, here I go to the fishing spot following road. And there, there's a merchant. All right, let's see what the merchant has. I never really talked to him last time I went through this. Is it John you're trying to find or whoever? Yeah, it's John. He's right here, right next to the merchant. Oh, he was like drowning in the water when I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a pro fisher. Here, take this fishing net. Right click some water to catch fish. Okay. Right, oh yeah, I'll catch a fish. And I catch one that time. There we go. Okay, well, let's get a couple more. No, where'd my fishing net go? There it is. And don't spend too much time on fishing at Tutorial Island. It takes forever to level up. <laughs> Alright, so. Fishing. I did some fishing. Talk to John. Hey, can you break some melons with my hand? You'll be able to eat them. Okay. Thanks. Let's break some more melons, huh? I'd probably suck for food, but okay. Yeah, you only get one. Yeah, I, I broke two melons, so. There you go. You can now talk to Robert. He's in the next building. And I'm pretty sure this path is really, really long to get to Robert. So I'm going to take a shortcut right through here. There we go. <laughs> Instead of going all the way around, I did last time. And merchant. There's Robert standing on a table. God damn it, Robert. Get off the table. Alright. Hey, welcome to my kitchen. I would like to show you how to cook some food. Okay. Here, take this raw chicken. First of all, make a fire. Anywhere in your house, alright. Right click the fire. And cook this. I want to cook some fish, so spam that quick. There we go. Perfect. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I got cooked chicken, a couple cooked shrimp, and Robert. 
You got it. Eating food will make you recover some health. You can now talk to Jordan. He's in the next building. And I think I go down or... Nope. Right. Okay. Right over here. Now I have to find... Where is it again? Jordan. We gotta find Jordan. Alright, Jordan. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna skip some of this road again. Kind of. Uh oh. Let me just find the road. Yep. Okay, I'm going the right way. Jordan, there you are, Jordan. Alright, what do you got to say? Hey, my name is Jordan, and I'm your next guide. Okay. You want to discover some advanced skills in the incoming mine? Please go down the ladder and talk to Ulrich. Okay, thank you. Can I take fall damage? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I think, like, no matter the distance, though, you only take, like, half a heart of damage. Yeah, I only took half a heart that time. And it seemed like I should have took more, but... Um, Ulrich. Hey, man, my name is Ulrich. I'm a pro miner. I'm here to present you to the main features of mining and smithing skill. Here, take this brown pickaxe and mine some tin. The black ore. Okay, let me just move this stuff out of my bar. A little glitchy. Okay. So, mine the coal, which is tin. So, click that and it'll mine it for me. There we go. Let's keep mining some more. I want to make... I know you make a bronze dagger for the thing, but I want to end up making armor, too, if I can while I'm here. And when, <laughs> I hate the sound of that smelting. It smell sounds like a uh, uh, God. What are wither. they called? I think it's a wither. Yeah, no, it's not the wither. It's no. the blazes. There we go, blazes. There you go, blaze. Okay, so I'm gonna mine some of this. I'm a stupid. <laughs> it's definitely wither. Let guys. me put these up here so I can see how much of the red stuff I got in mine. Alright. Ulrich. Alright. Great. Now you can do the same for the other ore. Okay. Sure thing. And I think this one's copper. Yep, this is copper. And I'm gonna get a full bar here of copper. And then I'm gonna end up smelting it all. Of course, I have to talk to Ulrich again before I do that. So that way... I don't mess up and have to mine up some more. Alright, one more. There it is. Oh, these take a while to come back. Alright. Ulrich, where are you? In mines, keep it in order to make tools or weapons. You'll need to smelt the ores into bars. Click the furnace, then in, on the smelting screen, click on the bronze bar. Okay. So that's how you do that. And here's the bronze bar. Let me just bam click that. Alright, Auric, back to you. You did it! Alright, now click on the anvil to make a bronze dagger for me, please. Sure thing, duty. McDude pants. Um, bronze dagger right here. Okay, now I'm gonna make armor. Bronze. Oh, it has the damages on these, right? No. Darn it. I don't know if the damages matter for a dagger and a sword. Record level 4. Oh, I can't make these yet. Record level 11? Ooh, shucks. 18? Oh, no. Um, slash 8. What's, what's my mining skill? Smithing. Level 1? Shucks. Um, let me just... Slash H. Smithing. Level 2. Woohoo! This is gonna take a while. Oh, dropping all these is gonna suck. There you go. Okay, now I got my bronze daggers. Talk to Ulrich. Get out of the corner, Ulrich. Ulrich. Voila! If you have more questions about this skill or any other one, you can ask the player or some guides in town. You now talk to Merrick. Does he have the Millennium Rod? <laughs> Just kidding, this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, so. Merrick. Hey, I'm Merrick, the Dragon Escape Survivor. I'm here to show you the main combat system, including the attack and defense skills. 
Let's begin with the mobs. Most of the monsters are neutral. They will only attack you. If you do, their strength depends on their level. Alright, use your bronze dagger. Kill a rat. So we're going to kill a rat now with my bronze dagger. Here's one. And you can avoid being hit, just like Minecraft. Except these silverfish are hard to kill. I mean, these rats. <laughs> but, anyway. It's a lot, a little easier than... Uh, RuneScape, because you don't actually stand still attacking them, I can move around. Anyway, I killed one rat, awesome. Now I can talk to Steve, he's in the bank, take the ladder, to, and follow the path. Well, I'm gonna kill a couple more rats, because I wanna get some extra levels here. And, I, there's a regen thing here, so I won't die, so I'm not even gonna bother with moving. And if you haven't noticed already, every time you kill one, a loot menu comes up. These things aren't dropping anything. Otherwise, there'd be a bar up here with stuff. And it looks like that guy's getting destroyed. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. Come on, rat. You're gonna die. I wanna get a low. Now I'm level 2 in defense. Awesome. Let me just keep killing some rats. Because I want all the levels I can before I leave. Especially with this region thing, it'll come in handy. So I'm gonna pause here so you don't have to watch me kill a lot, and I will be right back after I'm done just wailing on a whole bunch. Alright guys, I am back. I just killed a bunch of rats. I am now level 4. If you press tab, uh, you can see your level there. I'm I'm the first one up there at the top, cat poop. Level 4, pretty sweet. And if I go to slash H, I can also see I'm level 4 in strength and defense, pretty nice. So, now I'm gonna go talk to Steve, the banker, right up this ladder. And I follow the path according to the guy, so let's head on uh, right on up and have the time of our lives. Not really, but yeah. Alright. Banker. I hope there's a way to get more bank space later, because you can't hold very much. Or else you'll see in a second here. Here's a banker. This is all you can hold, this is an ender chest, pretty much. And things do stack. Well, I'm gonna keep my food on me. I'll put my. No, I better keep this stuff on me. Just so I can keep fishing and stuff later on, too. But anyway, here's Steve. Hey, I'm Steve. Making money in Minescape is very important. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut up, Steven. <laughs> but before that, storing money is even more important. Okay. I'm on, in almost every town, you'll be able to store your valuables in a bank. You can stack items in it. The step. It's quite easy to look, click in the banker next to me. Um, okay. Banker, what's up? Alright. So it's easy to buy or sell items. You'll be using an online Mindscape bank. You can use your see, see your balance by using slash money, which I did find some actual money off some of the rats, so I'm up to 3 GP, guys. Oh, yeah. Alright. You can now talk to George. He's in the church. Alright, George, here I come. Georgie George. This must be the church. And uh, there is, your hunger bar is never goes down, which is really nice. So you can sprint forever and ever and ever. And here's George. Hey, George, what's up? Hey, I'm George. I'm here to show you the base of the magic skill. Take this staff, right click it with, or right click it, or right click with it, and then select home teleport. After that, left click. So right click. Home teleport, left click. In the air. It doesn't work if you're on the ground. You gotta do it in the air, but okay. Easy, right? In order to use magic spells, you need some magic runes. Those can be bought or obtained by going to the rune essence mine. In this mine, you'll be able to get rune essence. You will need to find an altar and convert it to magic runes. Arbury, my good friend, is waiting for you in El Carid. Find him to go to the rune essence mine. Alright, and he, you did mine rune essence, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, and he was in Verak. Yeah. Not El Carid. Well, they need to fix this. <laughs> That's pretty much what I needed to say about this awesome skill. You unlock more spells by leveling up. You can now talk to Albert. He's in the next building. All right, Albert. I am coming for you. Follow the path. It's kind of stay off the path. It'll be a little shorter. <laughs> All right. Albert. Hello, Albert. 
Hey, I'm Albert. I'm here to present you my favorite skill, archery. Oh, God. That's so annoying when he's teleporting. Anyway, in Mindscape, you can use different bows and different arrows. You can even combine the types to do different damages. Here, take this bow. Here, take those arrows. Now try to shoot an arrow. Just anywhere in his house, just shoot an arrow. Like, alright. Albert, don't move. Don't move. Stop moving. I'm gonna shoot you. Hold on. Alright. I didn't even hit him, but whatever. Well, that's pretty much what you need to know. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them to some players. You can also find some guides in town. Talk to you later. Alright, so I'm done with Tutorial Island, and I am now in Lumbridge. Pretty cool. Um, that is it for the first episode, I guess. That is the Tutorial Island part. And there we go. It's loading up. You can see the Lumbridge Castle. Uh, we'll be back with episode one. And I'll see you guys later. If you guys like this video, click subscribe. And don't forget to like. I mean, I said that backwards. <laughs> if you like this video, click like. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys later.